Today I'm going to do an experiment to see if I can boil water inside a paper cup. I'm going to be using a metal coat hanger to bend into a stand. So cut the hook off with a pair of pliers and use your hands to carefully bend it into a stand large enough to hold the paper cup. Like this. It holds the cup off the floor and supports it around the rim. I took it outside and filled the cup up with water. If the weight of the water makes the stand bend, bend the framework a bit and try to hold the cup level. To heat up the water, I'm using a blowtorch. Turn the gas on and light it up. Because it's daylight while I'm filming, you can't really see the flame very well, but it is lit. And I'll show you what happens to an empty paper cup that hasn't got any liquid in. As you'd expect, within a couple of seconds, the blowtorch sets it on fire. And it only takes a few seconds before it completely burns up. But now let's see what happens to the cup full of water. When I hold the flame against the side, you can see the paper starts to turn black, but doesn't burst into flames. As I move the blowtorch around the cup, it blackens the paper wherever I point the flame. I worked my way around the entire cup, and it didn't take long before small bubbles started to appear on the side walls inside the cup. I could see some steam starting to develop, the water was getting hot and the cup wasn't on fire. You can see the water started to change colour and took on this burnt yellowy brown colour which transferred from the blackening of the paper cup. I kept moving the flame round and around and the water looked like it was getting really hot. After a few minutes I did notice it had sprung a small leak. So I took another paper cup and poured the hot water into that. I wanted to know how hot it had become, so I used a thermometer and found we'd only managed to achieve about 63 degrees C. The water did feel hot and it smelt really smoky. When I look at the cup, you can see it looks burnt all the way around and the overlap of the paper had started to separate, which is why the cup started leaking. The side walls were soft and crumbly too, and I was surprised it had held together. I decided to try again, so I put the cup of hot water into the stand, filled it back up, and started to heat it up again. This time I decided to avoid heating around the paper overlap too much, so hopefully it wouldn't leak. I tried not to keep the flame in the same place for too long, and to evenly distribute the heat. After a couple of minutes I placed the thermometer in the cup, so we could watch the temperature rising. The water turned more yellowy brown, and it really started bubbling. You can see on the thermometer that it did reach 100 degrees C, boiling temperature. Pretty hot, huh? The outside of the cup looks really charred. And you can see how the water boils at the point where the flame hits the cup. And I can move this around. It's a really crazy experiment. The water inside the cup stops the paper from setting alight, and we can actually heat the water up all the way to boiling point. I tipped the water into a new cup, and you can see just how yellow it's become. It looks like a cup of urine. It smells really smoky, and even though the water's boiled, I'm not sure you'd want to use it for making a cup of tea. If we put the flame back on the empty cup, you can see in no time at all it catches fire. 